T-minus 60 seconds and counting. We passed T-minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 50-second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T-minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T-minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. And that's what the launch of Apollo 11 sounded like. What's up, guys? It's hashtag Dasners here. Back with another video. And today, we are going to do... Uh, Apollo 11 in Kerbal Space Program. Except this time, it's, uh, well, though it's, uh, it's what I said, but, um, except it's not 1969, and it's also, uh, Kerpolo, Kerpolo 11. I, I call it that because it sounds Kerbally. Anyways, so we are going to land on the moon today. You're probably wondering why I did not take off on the mark in the little video thing I ran there. Um, it's because I have hype read it, and I can kind of cheat this, but hey. <laughs> Secret exposed! <laughs> Anyways, um... I also have Infernal Robotics, but that's not showing up here, because I don't have Infernal Robotics on this. Anyways, so... Uh, I will see you guys in Moon Orbit. Um, yeah. See you guys in Moon Orbit. Alright, guys, so... We are back in orbit. I want, well, not back in orbit, uh, but we're in orbit of the moon, and look at this, hello moon, it's so big from this perspective, there's Kerbin, there's the sun, it's kind of shiny today, and we've got our, all our astronauts here, Michael Collins, Buzz Aldrin, and Neil Armstrong, as we all know, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong were the ones to go on the moon. Michael Collins sadly stayed in the uh, command and service module, which is right here. This is all of the command and service module, and then right here is the lunar module. Uh, landing on the moon today should be pretty easy, as well as you can see, I've already landed in several places. So I'm just gonna time warp. Yeah, I've, I've already landed several times now. Alright, I'm just gonna time warp real quick here. Okay. I'm just gonna make a maneuver node here. See, what you want to do is you want to overshoot your target every time. Because uh, I do it like a little bit of a different style than uh, pretty much everyone else does. Okay, we still got 12 minutes. Uh, I'm just going to skip ahead. Six minutes, five minutes, and at four minutes here is when I'm going to detach from the command and service module. Uh, but first I'm gonna face retrograde. And because this thing has a fuel cell on it, uh, I can also like recharge uh, on the dark side of any planet. So that's quite awesome. Alright, now I'm facing retrograde. So now what I need to do is I need to transfer Neil Armstrong to here. And wait. And now I need to transfer Buzz Aldrin to here. And this lander, just like the real one, uh, fits only two inside. 
Alrighty, so we're about ready now. We're gonna extend the landing gear, as you can see there. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna undock. Undock. So what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna uh, get rid of this maneuver. Stop. Stop. Uh, okay. Um, and then I'm gonna switch to the lander here. Turn on RCS and stuff. I'm gonna back away from the CSM. Go away from it. There we go. And now I'm gonna open up a maneuver. Not quite. Come on. Uh, that should be good. Alrighty, so we're gonna overshoot our target. Right about there. Looks good. Uh, we're just gonna RCS uh, to retrograde. As we're continuous, uh, continuously floating away from the CSM, uh, I'm gonna turn around. I'm mostly just using the nav ball because it's quite dark out here. Uh, in my later versions of these landers, I actually put like a uh, whole bunch of like, you know, uh, lights and stuff and ladders, which I should have put on for this mission. Because ladders are a big issue. Uh, I'm just going to skip forward here to 1 minute 30 seconds um, until the maneuver right here um, about uh, there we go that should be about good okay so a little bit much uh, okay we are recording that's good always love to check so we're just gonna keep floating here for a bit oh, my computer with my timer went off uh, yeah, okay, there we go. No, my timer did not go off, but my, like, the computer turned off. Alright, now we're gonna face towards the maneuver. Where's the CSM? There it is. Oh, in the meantime, we're gonna re uh, rename this. Uh, I'm gonna call it the Eagle Lander. Uh, whoa, why are caps lock on? <laughs> Eagle Lander. And I'm gonna hit OK. There we go. We're about ready to go. Let's <laughs> activate the engine. Oh, for this, I like to cheat and put on uh, infinite fuel. Because. Uh, when I tested this thing, it just didn't have, like, enough fuel and stuff. Ooh, there's, like, a nebula over there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful nebula. As we all know, they only performed one spacewalk on, uh, uh, Apollo 11. But in this case, it's Kerpalo 11. Okay, six, five, four, three, two, one... I'm just gonna check it out from the map screen. Uh, that's about good. Alright. As you can see, the Kerpalo 11 CSM is floating away. And here we are on our descent towards the moon. Moon, here we come. Alrighty, come on now. Uh, you know, I'm probably just gonna skip to, uh, the landing, because the landing process takes a bit long. So, guys, I'm gonna skip. Uh, alright. See you in the next scene. Alright, guys, I'm back, and, uh, I just have landed on the moon! Whoop whoop! Yeah! That was awesome! Alright, so, um... 
what we gonna do now is we are gonna perform some spacewalks. And of course, Neil Armstrong's gonna get out first. Now, this is gonna appear weird to you guys. Boom! <laughs> yeah, that RCS block gets in the way. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. I know, right? One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Thud. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get Buzz out now. Come on down the ladder. Well, not really the ladder, but hey. Plonk! <laughs> right on the head. Hey! Don't push my lander. That's never happened before. <laughs> get out there with Neil and view your wonderful lander. Alright, let's do this. Buzz, go and plant that flag. Alright, so Buzz is gonna plant the flag now. I actually don't really know which one planted the flag, but hey, let's do Buzz. Bam! I'm gonna call it... Apollo... No, 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 no. Uh, there we go. Apollo 11... Landing site. Yay. Now, if you can't see it there, that is like a picture of Kerbin. Like, it's saying that we come from Kerbin, but like, it's too dark to see it. Alright, let's have Neil do uh, a EVA report. I love this one, because there's a certain amount of them, like, oh yeah, we're having a Kerbin solar eclipse, apparently, I think, are we still having it? Yeah, I can tell by the solar panels. We're having a Kerbin a solar eclipse right now, so Kerbin is going straight over uh, the sun right now, but you look up at the sky for, uh, for Kerbin, suddenly you feel very small. You guys feel it yet? You guys feel it? Do you feel small? I feel small. Anyways, uh, let's get uh, Buzz's EVA report. You start to say something dramatic and uh, about to uh, the uh, about the um and point 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 not uh, about the plight of Kerbal kind in this grand universe, only to be cut off by a random uh, radio chatter that the situation is normal. <laughs> I love that. Alright, Buzz, let's collect some samples. Let's go out here and collect a sample. Keep that data. Let's go back to Neil. Let's do some sampling stuff. Oh yeah, did I mention the jetpack works on <laughs> I love the jetpack, it's awesome. It, oh, oops. Yeah, this happens when you hit the ground too hard. You start sliding! Which is not fun. Alright, so we're gonna get up. Get up. There we go. Also, hopping is very efficient uh, instead of walking on the moon. Bunny hopping. That's awesome. Right, let's uh, take a surface sample right here. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Eh, yeah, whatever. Whee! 360 no scope! Oh, <laughs> More like 720. That was 720. Three sixty no scoping on the moon. We plonk. We oh, come on. We plonk. <laughs> I love that. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's try and get back in the lander. This is a very challenging uh, task that I've that I've just given myself. Alright, so I have to get up the rockets, uh, line myself up, and then get my fingers positioned on the keyboard, because this is a very hard task. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Man, this is so hard. 
Well, at least it's not, uh, uh, at least it's not like tipping over the lander, because that's happened to me before. Whoa, timer, off. <laughs> Yeah, grab it, grab it! Dang it. Oh, I can walk inside the fairing. I didn't know that. Ugh. Get up! Get up, get up, get up, get up. Up and at him! It's a brand new day! Is that even a song? I just sort of made that up, didn't I? Rockets, rockets! Give me the ro my rockets. Get in there. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's go to Buzz. Let's do the same task. The very challenging task. Oh yeah, last video I recorded, Minecraft video went way over time with the whole uh, timer thing. I was completely right. I was like, oh, I'm way over time. And up. Nope. I usually don't stop holding shift until I- oh great. <laughs> Buzz, don't die! Or else I'll have to terminate you. You are terminated! Yeah. What? Currency you have collected are not stored on this Mark II land. Cannot be stored on this Mark II land. Uh, board anyway. Dump experiments. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's transmit, uh, our things. Transmit that as well. Transmitting. Data. Did we transmit everything? I think we did. Alright. You know why I want to transmit all that? It's because we're going to end uh, this lunar rover. I mean, lunar lander with the moon. I don't know how to orbital rendezvous! Oh, whoops. Switch to this thing. Well, shoot. Um, what just happened? Kerbal Space Program not responding. Uh, uh, okay. Alrighty, let's uh, return Michael Collins home. All right, see you guys there. I forgot to put the mic down. Alright guys, we're back. Um, I keep forgetting. Um, anyways, so we are just, uh, going through re-entry here. Okay, re-entry just ended. And we're landing in the ocean with Michael Collins! Unfortunately, Neil and Buzz have died on the moon. <laughs> I'm an idiot. And we're just sort of in a free fall right now. Do 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 do. Falling through the sky. Oh shoot, why did that fall off? I wasn't supposed to fall off. And my timer's done. Well. The heat shield is supposed to fall off, it's just that, um, not yet. <laughs> oh, 
Also, the ring didn't fall off yet. I'm surprised. I'm surprised why it didn't fall off yet. I mean, it is detached. It's just not falling off. Aren't these gonna open? There we go. Them both up. There we go, that's what they were supposed to do. And we're just gonna cruise down with our drogue parachutes here. Just cruising. Good old day out in the ocean. I'm surprised there's no waves. I mean, like, seriously. It's the ocean. Why is there no waves? <laughs> eh, a little bit early. Hey, whatever. We are now traveling at a speed of 6.2 meters per second. Come on down the railroad track. I keep making up songs, don't I? <laughs> I do. I do. We're about to splash down in the water now. And... Splash down! There we go. Parachute's cut, and we're good. Recover the vessel. And don't kill Michael Collins. <laughs> Please let me recording. Uh, come on. Where's the sound? For the thingy. Come on now. There we go. Whistling birds. Well, guys, this completes my, uh, video of Kerpalo 11 and Kerbal Space Program. Uh, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Um, and guys, I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye! Wait! I forgot to say that we uh we we should uh, um please help us get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. That would be awesome. And also, uh, face reveal at 300 views, 295 views right now. Come on, seriously, rank up those views, people. I will do the face reveal. It's awesome. I can't wait. Anyways, so yeah, uh, guys, I'm gonna end this one here, and. Yeah. Back to where I was. Goodbye!